The milk tea is a Mongolian traditional tea that we are using on daily basis. So how we use it is that we make the tea by the plant and we pour, put milk and we boil it together and we are we uh, add salt on it. Ah, ah, so, so it's salty? Uh, salty. And um, the, 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 the milk. Thank you. It's a uh, yak milk. Yak milk. Uh, yak milk. Uh, yak milk. <laughs> yak milk. Yak milk. Батэрдэн гэдэг Монгол малчин айл өргөн юугаараа онцлогтой юм бэ? Орчин цагийн Монгол малчин айл өргөн хараахан биш тийм ээ. 100 жилийн өмнө Монголын малчин ард түмний эдэл хэрэгж байсан эд хоогшол гэр орон ийм дөр төрөхтэй байж ээ гэсэн сардаг тимээгээрээ досох. Гэрийн гадаа машин мотор байх бай нүгэр онцлогтой гэсэн. The unique thing about the family of Batizen is that they are living as a, as a nomadic life as if it was a hundred years ago. Because nowadays in the nomadic families they have they have a solar power in which they provide themselves with the electricity and they have a motorcycle, they have cell phones. But in uh, the family of Batid and they live like a family of, from a hundred years ago. They they have no electricity, the, the, the furniture, they are all antique and they're just the way it had looked hundred years ago. <laughs> Энэ маар олон 100 жил манай дагаад нүүдлэн амьдрахад Монгол маар нэг дохимжтой байх. Монголын малчин ард түмэн жил төрүү байна уу? Өвөл хавар зун нам. А үс урмтай дагаад хэдэн удаач нүүж магадгүй тийм ээ. Тэгтэл хамгийн гол Монгол гэр дохимжтой гэсэн. The Mongolian gear have a six main uh, structure, six main structure. It includes the wooden part and the felt part at last. The wooden parts include the roof, the roof crown, which is like a window here. And if you have the roof poles, which is uh, basically the part of the roof. And it would have the walls, which also is separated into pieces. And it would have the floor and the two supporting poles for the window. And it would have a door. And the last part would be the felt cover. And in total, it's uh, six structures. And the wooden... <laughs> Ачиж чадна. Өөр ингэсэн өвжөө хавржаан дээр очоо байхад нэг цагаас гитэрхүүгээр бариад орж чадгараа Монгол гэр маал нүүдэл тун тохиромжтой гэсэн. And the Mongolian gear is considered to be the most comfortable housing for the nomads. Because for only two men it would, it only it takes only one hour to dismount and mount the gear. To build the gear and to put down the gear. Just one hour. Just one hour. And uh, when you when they uh, dismantle the Mongolian gear, it can be packed on a one uh, yak cart like this bed. Just like this bed. The and also inside the Mongolians here, the Mongolians have been able, able to calculate time. How they do it is that the sun, it enters the gear by the roof pole, and since the roof, pole, roof crown is circle, it shows the direction of the sun and the clock. 
It's about the winter time when it rains. They, uh, generally, they were covering the roof by the fan cover, by the fan cover completely. But nowadays, the families are using the plastic sheets in order to warm our glass. And the fans are also covered. And the only way for the Mongolian girl to show the clock right to the girl, the door of the girl always has to head to the south. By this way they can tell the time. And also another reason that the Mongolians build their, uh, place their door to the south is that in the south they get more sunlight. And also, since uh, in the south part of Mongolia it's Gobi Desert, which means the rain cloud is not coming from south. But however, from Siberia, most of the rain clouds of Mongolia are coming. So therefore, the, the door of the gear is always headed to the south. And uh, he's saying that uh, some people ask how the Mongolians know which direction is the cow. And it's because the sun it, uh, rises from the south, so the east, and it goes to the south, and uh, sets in the west, so therefore they can uh, tell the direction. <laughs> And also, we say that the Mongolians use our gear like a compass. Because we look at the door of the gear and we can always tell the south. If we can tell the south, we can tell the north. And by looking at the sun, we can tell the west and the east. <laughs> The inside of a Mongolian gear is divided into three parts. The east side, the west side, east side, and the north side. And in the center, it would always have a fire. And the north part of the gear that you're sitting over there is believed to be the most respected part of the gear. Therefore, usually the images of a Buddha or Buddhist deities are placed in the in the north as an altar. And in the, the west side of the gear is considered as the, uh, as the men's side. So therefore, usually the horse pack or gun or the hunting equipment are placed in the, in the west. And the east side of the gear is believed to be the female side. So therefore, the kitchen equipment, the bed, is everything placed on the east side.